Hello and welcome to the H10 Rubicon Palace in Playa Blanca Lanzarote. We start in the video by leaving the hotel, just so you can see this wonderful view. And as you would expect from a five star hotel, it has an excellent reception area. And here you can see they have a new set of punters all preparing themselves to go on the Rubicon train. If you're wondering what the Rubicon train is, well since this hotel is so large, they have a train which will take you and your luggage to your hotel room. This is the view near our room. Now if you've stayed or are going to stay at the hotel, please drop down your room number in the comments. So here we are at our room, 5085. So, walk in, it's, it's all very modern looking, black and white. They've got a nice chair there. Table and settee. Don't normally get a settee in your bedroom, do you? So, double bed. Um, tea and coffee making facilities there. Nice big sort of dressing area and nice big drawer. Keep all your bits in. And the wardrobes are on the side here. Um, plenty of hanging space and shelving <coughs> and also a safe. And then along here more drawers. Very um, handy on the drawers. Lots of drawers there. And then at the side here a fridge which is very handy even though you're not self-catering it's always handy let's have a look what this is like yes nice handy fridge there if you've got some drinks that you want to keep cool um, so that's nice and then a TV obviously on the wall there and uh, let's have a look the bathroom facility very spacious so not a separate shower but does look like a nice powerful shower obviously over the bath but looks looks quite nice um, plenty of towels and again plenty of storage space on the side there and a toilet and a bidet. Don't often get one of those. And then outside, got to say, this is the biggest balcony I've ever seen and has the benefit of not only a table and chairs, but also two loungers. How about that? Very nice. And again, a very useful towel dryer for your cozies and things. So that's good. And then we are lucky enough to have a sea view. Look at that. No boats at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be one or two whilst we're here. It appears very quiet. Um, there's the little... And uh, there we are near a road, it, so it does, does appear at the moment to be very quiet. The 
hotel has about eight pools and three of them, the biggest ones, are located in the main central area of the hotel. Only one of the outside pools is heated. I've got up early in the morning so can have a look at the pools without all the swimmers and sunbathers. And this is the main pool and it's absolutely massive. It's 7.30 in the morning and someone's out for a swim. Now I have to say, the pools when you first get in them are absolutely freezing. But it takes less than a minute for you to warm up and then they're lovely. So don't worry about jumping in. In fact, the, the quicker you do it, the better. We're gonna have a celebration. Next to the main large pool, I call the middle pool, which is the second largest. And then next to the middle pool is the only outdoor heated pool. I'm not sure how warm it is, we never bothered using it. Every morning on the bridge to the heated pool, they have a little dance off. I'm not sure what the purpose is, there's not a lot of people watching or even paying attention. It could well be to welcome the kids off to the kids clubs. And here is a 0.5 pool. It's a very shallow pool, maybe for dipping your legs in next to the main pool. Perhaps to cool off, not sure. I think we're on pool number 5 now. This is the pool and chill out zone, which is off to the left of the hotel complex. six this is for the privileged people those that pay the extra and they get their own private pool and normally there's a, a waterfall going on here but I'm up at stupid time in the morning to film this and as you can see it's all cordoned off you need your pass to actually get access to it so peasants like us can't go in there and ruin their pool I'll give you a quick guide to the floors in the main complex. This is floor 4, which is the middle one. There we have a mini cinema for the kids. This is where TUI and JET2 reps sit. Games room. Over there you have a conference room. And way over there is where we have the disco bar. We'll see more of that later. And here's the games room. More games on the far end. And now we're entering the disco bar. Now this is for afternoon entertainment, I believe, for the kids. And later on in the evening, they have the uh, shows for the adults. We'll see some of those later on in the entertainment section. Now this bar leads on to a very good balcony. We need a holiday If we took a holiday Just one time to celebrate Come on, let's celebrate Just one day out of life Holiday It would be And here you get great views of the pools. It runs the whole length of the main building.
several of these kiosks, all of which you can access and look at all the entertainment, the restaurants, the pools and all additional information for the hotel. And now we're entering the piano bar, so called because there's a piano in there. It's a rather swanky looking bar, complete with uh, books which you could probably borrow. And this is where you have evening entertainment as well. It's a bit more sophisticated entertainment than you get from the disco bar, as you'll see later. And this also leads on to a large balcony. Now, it's the same balcony you get for the privileged people. They have their own private balcony. But us peasants can come up here and enjoy the scenery. And just to show you that there are people at the hotel, I'll show you during the night. This is an evening walk, and yes, there are people there. We're not at the hotel on our own. The piano bar is located on floor six, which is the same floor as reception. several shops in the hotel and this one is the boutique shop where it sells gifts, souvenirs, toiletries and Kit Kats for two euros. It's right next to the piano bar. Also next to the reception area is the privilege reception so if you pay extra for the privilege rooms you also get your own privilege lounge here and a privilege balcony. There are two glass fronted lifts that travel between floors 2 and 6 of the main complex. They are very slow so you might be queuing for a while. If you can, use the stairs. Now we're travelling into Daisy Adventure. This area of the hotel is set up mostly for the kids with all the kids activities over here. So if you're a family with small kids, this is the best place to be. You have a baby club, so you can offload your babies while you go off and enjoy yourself. Or not. We have got to get together. Have a large pool full of kids. Now it's very early and they haven't switched on the slide and the water fountain yet. And there's also a little kids truck there which has snacks, providing you're all inclusive, otherwise you're paying for them. And now we're coming towards the other clubs little playground, mushroom hut, I think that's for the smaller kids, or is it for the larger kids? That's the junior club, so that's for the larger kids, and we have a, a separate little hut here for mini club, for the mini kids. Again, this is ideal to have one of your rooms here if you have come with kids because you haven't got far to travel to actually enjoy all the kids stuff, the pools and the clubs and to be perfectly honest with you, if you haven't got kids you wouldn't want to be in one of these rooms. Now we're entering the Plaza Canaria we have the Beef Eater Sports Club here. Or well, when I say sports club, it's somewhere you can sit and watch TV and go in and watch some sports. There's another shop there selling clothes and other gifts. Uh, not always open, as you can see, but it, it is early. And if you're part of the privileged clan there's your own dining area I haven't seen any bouncers but I'm sure they'll stop any peasants getting in 
so you can enjoy your meals all on your own. A bit posher than the buffet. where you have the dinner special it's a show that you have to pre-book every monday and thursday you get some carver as you're queuing up and when you go in you have your dinner and a show which is uh, really good worth doing but book early uh, there's a diving shop there for you divers another shop here which is your typical souvenir shop or your knickknacks that you would generally get on the shops at the beach. Now there is one good thing about this hotel is they do allow inflatables and this shop sells them. Unfortunately I'm a bit too big for these but there you go. I think Arsenal has just scored. Now they do have a diving club on site. Now you don't obviously don't do diving on site because the pools and this little stream next to the diving centre is a little bit shallow so there's no diving there. But I assume this is where you come and get your training, your talks and I've seen plenty of people kit up with their swimsuits, well not swimsuits, wetsuits, swimsuit would be no good would it? And once you're all clobbered up you jump into that van there and they take you off somewhere I would expect a lot deeper than the little stream we have here. Now here's a few of the privilege rooms. They're on their own separate blocks and they tend to have balconies which are sea view. <laughs> Mini golf, they have six holes, only six, so you have to play them three times to get your 18. And if you're wondering why or where hole one to nine is, there isn't. It starts at hole 10, so don't go searching around like we did for the other holes. I think it starts at hole 10 because it's H10 hotels. Yeah, this is where the archery and the rifle shooting takes place and if you're into volleyball they even have a volleyball court French balls or petanka whatever you like to call it they have three of these they're not that great because they have lots of dips in them from use because the ground's quite hard so the balls tend to roll into the dips uh, hotel you can just be wandering around and get lost it's so big which is good and as you can see it's not uh, over packed either although again we're early in the morning now we found the table tennis it took about four days before we noticed these although they are outside a couple of rooms so uh, if you get these rooms you might get a bit of a uh, ping pong going on And these rooms overlook the Plaza Canaria. Now if you have some of the rooms opposite above the uh, dinner special area, it's going to be really noisy up until about 10 o'clock on Mondays and Thursdays because that show gets loud. Now this is inside the uh, dinner spectacular. It's very nice and the show is very good. It's a variety show. Evening entertainment. This is the piano bar.
starts at about 10 p.m. and this is where you get a variety of acts, all of them excellent. <laughs> seasonal depending on the weather the temperature and the light but they have shows outside as well this one's outside the main dining area and the main hotel area just before the pools um, I can't play the music unfortunately they're using copyrighted music and YouTube say no There's a number of animals at the hotel and we have some leopard tortoises there are quite a few although i think they're all having a siesta apart from this large one here probably searching for some food if it's anything like our cat I have fish large and small fish in the ponds and there's also some terrapins <laughs> an aviary as well for an odd one here 
a few birds there you can come and have a look at and of course much to many canary hotels cats resident cats here's one off for a trot Here's another one having a snooze and two more. I think there's about five I've seen so far. Places to eat. Now this is Mike's Cafe. You get excellent cakes and coffee there. There are several themed restaurants which you need to pre-book. That's in addition to the main restaurant which is a buffet for breakfast and dinner and lunch. There's an on-site spa where you can get your usual spa treatments, massages, uh, also haircuts and there's a gym there. Inside you have your spa pool, saunas and yet again another outdoor pool. The rear of the hotel you can get onto the promenade. Here's the exit to the promenade and although you need your key to get back in you can alternatively just stick your hand through here and unlock it. Well, I don't know if you can see on this uh, picture that's Leota Ventura And over here to your left takes you off to play a blanker. Here you get a lovely view of the hotel and the mountain behind. Such a great view. One of several meeting points, really nicely kitted out. This one's right in front of the Plaza Canaria. journey from our hotel room through the hotel to the main reception there is so much a man can tell me so much he can say you remain my power my pleasure my pain baby to me I'm like a grown addiction that I can't deny won't you tell me is that healthy, baby? But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become a light and the light that you shine can't be seen? Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the grave. Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger the feel. Ooh, 
So much a man can tell me, so much he can say you remain my power, my pleasure, my pain. To me, I like a grown addiction that I can't deny. Now, won't you tell me, is that healthy, baby? But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become a large and the light that you shine can't be seen? quite the end of our holiday though we've booked with jet 2 and they have in resort check-in which means we can offload our luggage with them and they'll take it off to the airport and the next time we see them would be when we arrive at the airport in England <laughs> <laughs>